So we're gonna start by turning it on and it has a digital temperature clock that's gonna take you all the way up to 450 degrees. So based on your hair type, your texture, if you have color, you're gonna pick the setting for you. So I always go to 390 for my hair because I have color in it. So then you've got a left and a right button and it's based on the side you're curling. So I'm actually gonna start by sectioning my hair right down the middle. And the one thing people always ask is how do I curl the back of my hair? We're actually going to separate it in the back and bring it all forward and treat it as the left and the right. So the great thing about the beach waver is I don't have to hold it upside down and backwards and wrap it around. I actually just hold it upright with the clamp facing the mirror and I just take the hair around, clamp it on the bottom and press go. And when I let go of the button, it stops rotating. So as you can see, I have all the curls here but I really want them to cool first before I run my fingers through because it's going to make the curl last longer. So after you've curled the left and the right side and you've really allowed it some time to cool, the final step is really to run your fingers through it and then we're going to add a little bit of volume with the prep it comb. And this is really cool because it's going to add a lot of volume and tease it as it closes. So I'm going to go right in at the root and I'm going to close it and then I'm just going to lock it down like that. This is a really great way to tease. It's just going down, and it's not going up and down to sort of destroy the hair. It's actually giving it a ton of volume in a really healthy way. So that's it. That's the 10-minute beach wave.